Hi, this video is video four of the little mini broidery anglaise series. This video will show you the embroidery itself and trimming off the scallops. So let's get started. Here's the finished embroidery. I've added a little hem across the top, but I've not cut the scallops yet. I'm going to give this a gentle hand wash in cool water, just in case there's any finger marks. And what that will also do is um, close up some of the threads. It will, you know, help the thread to expand and cover any spaces. Um, I'll leave that to dry to almost dry and then come back to you and show you the finishing and the trimming. So here is the piece of lace. This is the back of the lace. Um, it's just the tiniest bit damp. And in actual fact, I've had to spray it with a little bit of water um, because I let it dry completely. So I'm just going to press from the back. So this is a, a soft surface. And I'm just going to press. And again, it's back to the point that you don't want to, um, if, if you're ironing, doing proper ironing movements like that, what will actually happen is you'll start to move some of your threads. And really, that's not what you want on your, um, your ground fabric, if you can help it. So there's a light press, and you can see it's already looking quite um, different. But we still have a few little um, areas that could do with a little bit of extra help. And this is where the starch comes in. You can just use water. You don't have to just to use starch. You can just use um, water to do this. And basically what it is, is you're going to do, just spread the fibers out a little bit. By dampening them. Now oh, I like to use the starch because it um, also gives a nice sort of shiny finish. You don't want too much, which is why I'm using a paintbrush. And as I say, it's not um, something that is vital, but it does just has a nice effect. And as I, you can also do this, as I say, with plain water. You can just see that the what happens is is the the threads swell a little bit. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of starch on the back. Now putting starch on the back of the work also helps to, particularly around the scallop, make it a little bit easier to cut out. because the threads, the um, fabric threads will stay a little um, put, as it were, when you're actually cutting. But also, if you add a little bit around the places where you have um, knots, or, well, you should weaving through, ideally. That also helps to keep the threads in order. Now you should leave this to dry.
I'm just going to do a light press at the front, but I'm not pressing, I'm just kind of holding the iron on, on the top of the lace. And this is just so that the starch goes a little shiny. Then I'm going to go back and press again on that padded surface from behind. Now the fun begins. The thing that we have to do now is trim out the scallops. So you need to make sure that you have a sharp pair of scissors. And I know that this is going to be um, perhaps a little bit awkward because of where my camera is placed. But basically take your sharp pair of scissors and trim as close to the scallop really as you can. Just make sure that what that you don't get the um, embroidery threads, you don't cut them. Now as you can see for this first cut I'm not going right the way up into the point of the scallop. So if I can just show you there. I'm not going it right into the points. I'm just going to get as much of the excess out of the way. As I can. It's interesting. Um, if you see old embroidered laces, um, border laces like this, that they were worked on, obviously they, they didn't just do one small strip. They had a length of fabric that was stamped up in rows. And so the top part of the um, next lace had a curved edge where the scallop of the one above was cut from it. So it really depends on your scallop, how far in or on how your edge, how far you can cut it in one go. But because I'm, if you could see the angle my head is at to try to get around the camera, you'll understand why I'm not going straight into the scallops. And because you work the blanket stitch, your um, fabric is actually going to be entirely encased by that stitching. So now the thing to do is to make sure that you get those last bits. So I'm going to carry on doing this um, with it closer to my eyes instead of having the camera smack in front of me. So now my scallops are cut. If you have any sort of loose bits, you can use your nail or a pair of tweezers to just take those little ends off. And sometimes I find that if I work from the back to get some of these, it also helps because I can pull them up. So I don't know if you can see, Oh, where did it go? So I've just pulled a few threads up and then I can also snip those from the back. But on the whole, you'll find that it's um, quite easy to just take any excess away. And ultimately, 
in use, you'll find that most of these threads are will disappear very quickly. But just going over from the back helps you to make sure that you're not catching. You sort of skim along that blanket stitch. And there we have one piece of eyelet lace or embroidery on clay. As I said, you don't have to use something as lightweight as and fine as this. Um, here is a much tighter weave cotton, but it still has the properties that it can be um, more, it can still easily be pierced. If you decide to work with a uh, quilting cotton, you'll just need to practice a little bit on your um, piercing part. So just to show you, this is a quilting weight cotton. In fact, if I turn it over, another project I'm working on, you can pierce it still but it's a little bit more difficult to do. And so all you have to do is to remember to take that into consideration when you're using it. But absolutely, these tight um, quilting weights are great for items that are going to be washed frequently. So something like um, if you're putting it onto little girls or babies, um, christening gowns or something like that. Thanks very much for watching. I'd love to hear what you think about me splitting up the videos into shorter ones and whether that um, is better for you. Um, do please click subscribe and like and share the video. It helps, all that helps the channel. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.